Hello peoples, my name is Jordan Polino, and uh, this is going to be a quick recap. Uh, I was thinking about r recording face log and ed editing between all that, but I ended up deciding against it. This is just a small recap uh, over the Game Awards. Thank you for everyone that joined me. But first up, I'm on, first up on my list, well, this is a quick recap of the games that I care about, to be quite honest. Nothing really like about who won or anything, but just the announcements. Uh, well... The first, the first game on my list is Far Cry, new, the new dawn. It continues after the nuke ending of Far Cry 5. It, it is set in a post-apocalyptic world. It actually looks very colorful with the, just the paints and everything, all the guns, and just the world is just really pretty. They added new gun designs where there was like a, literally a gun with like a, like blade, saw blades shooting out of it, which looked awesome. And new cars, which essentially just drive around just being all post the apocalyptic -y. but yeah the game looks great it's coming to all systems and it should be out next year uh, n next on the list is the game outer worlds outer worlds is made by is being made by obsidian studios obsidian studios are the same people that made um fallout new vegas and yeah fallout new vegas i'm pretty sure it's fallout 3 as well but i'm pretty sure it's just fallout new vegas um, the, um the, uh, they made that game with the the shitty engine that's still being used for the new game Fallout 76. So yeah, hooray! But whatever, fuck that game. This game actually looks really cool. It's a shooting RPG in space. It's just so futuristic looking. It looks great. The the engine that they're using looks great. It just looks really cool. I'm really excited for this game whenever it decides to come out. Dragon Age. Um, we got a little teaser for Dragon Age, doesn't show much, it's just like a panning view of a camera. Um, most likely this game is not coming out anytime soon, because it's being made by EA, and EA is probably more focused about getting Anthem ready, and making sure everything works well, so we'll probably, uh, we'll probably won't see that game for like a year or two, somewhere around that market, but, hey look, it's a Dragon Age game. Alright, uh... Next on the list, The Last Campfire, being made by Hello Games uh, Shorts, uh, technically Hello Games, but uh, the same people that made No Man's Sky, they're making the, basically a smaller scale game, and the other honestly looks really cute, I'm in, re in love with the art style, it just the char the, char the characters that they have are just adorable, and I just, just want to, I want to plush, I really want to plush, it'd be great, I, I love it already. Um, but I like it. it looks very cute and it, it'd be an interesting game to play uh, a lot and it, it looks like it's a lot more easier to have expectations a lot bit realistic rather than what they originally did all right well hopefully they don't release another unfinished game um and now um now we also have rage 2 coming up and rage 2 is just really fast paced shooter should be coming out next year um, it's really colorful, colorful world. You have the special abilities and secondhand and weapons or dual wielding. I'm not really sure, but it just looks great. I've been trying to avoid most spoilers for the game because it's a game that I really am really excited for. But it looks great. I love it. It's an open world shooter. It's it's gonna be great. It's really gonna be great. I can't wait for this game. Just being able to run around and just killing people and blowing people up. It's gonna be awesome. Um. As a surprise announcement, I guess it wasn't really that surprising, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Um, it's going to be the newest one for the franchise. It ju the trailer just shows Scorpion and I forget his name. Razao or something like that? John Zell? I'm not, I'm not very familiar with Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat to be frank. But it looks really cool. It seems to like show off just some like customization options with like different costumes and stuff like that. But nothing really that important. Um, it was just a small little cinematic trailer. But that's cool. It's, it apparently comes out next year in April. So, Hades. Hades is a hack and slash dungeon uh, romp from the creators of Bastion. It is now uh, available or soon available in the Epic Game Store Early Access. Go check it out. Unfortunately, it's only for PC. I don't have a PC, so it's uh, I'm not uh, I'm unable to play. Until further notice. Hey, if they bring it to console, I'll buy it. If not, oh well. Oh, you know what else is coming to console though? The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. 
This, uh, yeah, it's the Stanley Parable. It's the same funny game. It's coming with new endings and other items and stuff like that to just bring into the mix. Yeah, it's coming to console from... Uh, it should be coming to Xbox and PS4. Not sure about Nintendo Switch, but we're good to go. Uh, we also got another teaser for Journey to the Savage Planet. Journey to the Savage Planet was just... Uh, showed us like a dead bird or whatever and a, cra and a crash pod. And it was just... Interesting. It was a really nice, r nicely designed. Being made by Typhoon Studios, um, it uh, it's just I, I I don't know much about the game, but apparently it's just yeah, uh, it's just surviving on on a sav on an alien planet. I don't really know much, but it looks cool. I liked it. Ashen, another post-apocalyptic game. You know, we have so many of them already. Uh, but uh, let's continue. This uh, Ashen is a post-apocalyptic open world of affair with a weird co-op twist apparently you can um it is out now you can, you play one player but you can actually play co-op with um you the partner actually taking uh control of like any of the random npcs in the world and you guys can go off and play the entire game looks interesting to say the least it's out now it's on the epic store or on xbox one you can also have it with the xbox game pass if you're interested i might download it play it. i don't know not really sure Next up, we also got Devil May Cry 5. Devil May Cry 5 is coming out. They seem to show off some kind of like weird multiplayer aspect of the game. Um, uh, essentially, you would have Dante and like the basically the other characters. Um, they would come in and fight, and they'd be in the background or something and just fighting. I'm not really sure how, or how exactly it's gonna work. But more information will come out later on. There wasn't really much of an explanation, but it was really cool. I liked it. It, li it looked really dope. Really excited for Demo May Cray 5, and uh, alright. You know what was, uh, as a surprise twist to this entire, um, Game Awards, um, uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate was, came out essentially the exact same day, and they showed off one of the, um, one of the DLC characters that are coming out for the like, first character pack, and it is Joker. Joker from Persona 5, the main character. He's gonna be the newest one. No date on when exactly he's coming, but he's the first character for the DLC packs, which I'm excited for. Never got my chance to play Persona 5, but uh, 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 maybe this means Persona 5 on Switch. I don't know, maybe. Uh, and then the last game I wanted to talk about was Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3: The Black Order. This is actually a Nintendo Switch exclusive, which is really cool. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance was like some like sort of like squad based um attacking um hack and slash game in a way uh, i guess that's the best uh the best way i can think of putting it it's being um developed by team ninja the makers of neo and ninja Ga gaiden and it's it looks uh, pretty cool the, the design it, it looks a bit more like older but at the same time uh, artistically speaking it looks really nice uh, as far as i know um it's uh, only gonna be a Nintendo switch and that's about it all right everyone uh thank uh thank you to everyone that joined me during the live stream and dealt with it because appara uh, apparently I had issues in setting it up and it just didn't go well uh, I need to figure out how the live streaming works more properly and so that way I can stop being an idiot but other than that I'll be should be fine all right if you like the video um uh, don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell so that way whenever I post my the next Let's Play video for most likely Pokemon or whichever video ends up going up. I haven't really decided yet, but it'll go up soon. My name is Zero Point and I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters!